<laughs> hey there. Yours feels really thick. What's going on here? I love you. I love you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to hear a lot of guitar with these. <laughs> I apologize, and I'm not very good. Well, this isn't fair. <laughs> this is second to you. It's the most beautiful damn thing. I thought you didn't want me to hop on the stage tonight, but I oh, might be. So <laughs> I might be testing it out. No, no, no. You oh, still need a little bit of practice. Goodness. I swear to you on my life, I saw this girl and I said, it's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to have that girl. There's a lot that happens to actually make that work. And the, and the first step was to, to meet her. And I had gotten back and I was with my friends. We were having a party at his house. And one of my girlfriends uh, leaves and says, we're going on to beach music. Uh, we're going to be with, uh, with a couple people. And I heard the name Jessica Russell. And I kind of wheeled around. I was like, Who, what's up? Who's there? I was like, all right, do me a favor and bring her back to the party. Four hours later, I'm sitting down on a couch. Jess gets yanked up through the room, and this girl walks her up and goes, David, here she is. <laughs> in love with this guy who went to UVA who wasn't at state and then we saw it furthered when she decided to move to New York and Dallas. I knew from day one for the past nine years you were the one for Jess. <laughs> Scott you're very lucky to have David um, coming into your life as a full-time partner. David's about ten times luckier than you are though. <laughs> Jess over to the house. <laughs> and guys, I, I can't even microwave a Chef Boyardee bowl of spaghetti and I offered to cook for Jess on our first date. But we, we walked around the house and I gave her this big tour and I kept saying every room I walked around, this is, this is the den, this is the living room, kiss her, kiss her, this is, and I couldn't do it. And we finally finished the tour and she said, are you gonna kiss me? And I kissed her. And, and I swear in that moment I fell in love with this girl. I've never stopped. things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. As you combine your lives together to make you unique and special, you're coming together in one flesh. So this means you're no longer just David, and you're no longer just Jessica. Because from here on, you will both be the Parkers. So David, uh... I'm not going to pretend like I know your mom, but I think it's human instinct to flock to what is some familiar and to what you know is good in your heart. And what I know of Jess is that she's beautiful, that she's patient and caring, funny, and she takes unbelievably good care of you. So 
knowing the family you have surrounding you with April now and your father and your sister. Really happy to be part of this. And uh, this makes me happy and I guarantee it makes your mom happy. Mark 10, 9 in the Bible says, Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Because David and Jessica have made their wedding vows to each other before God, their family, and their friends here today, I gladly pronounce them to be husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And David, <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. David Parker, Jr.